Okay, it is noon. We are going to start. Um, we are going to do our protocols. And I'm going to answer my own question from Monday. Um, and then we'll finish the Haida alphabet and go back to Kuskiao uh, Ijin um, for the questions and responses. We will start with the Haida Nation anthem. All rise for the United Nation Anthem. Yo ho, yo Be seated. We're going to continue protocol with class prayer and class greeting. O Sing Shanawai, O Sanang Itlakdas, O Salana, Hugen Sudas, Kasin Itlanga Gudang. Have pity on what we are saying. Aji Singayan, Talan Kilt Lagan, we thank you for this day. Aya, Achan Ichfu, Kajkat Sangdalana, Talan Kilt Lagan, we thank you for gathering us here today. Moving some things around. Hugen Talan Estas, Eat light, whatever we are about to do, help us. Daman Talang is the Anna, so that we could do it right. How a sing shanawai, how a sanang eat like us, how a salana, how kun ant it down. That's our phrase for amen. Class greeting. E te da sa, Adela isis, e tolan, Atlan anas, the good night logan, Delan itsa says, the good night logan, Delan asian de hungyogan, Aya chilan talan skatan, Delan ant kilt logan, Jahawa u hot kill, Talan skata sin. Greetings, good people, my friends, my family. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy that you guys have come. I am honored with your presence. Today we're learning our language. I thank you guys. Thanks a lot. Let's learn Haida. And so, Tony, on Monday, we were talking about um, phrases in Haida 
that we could use that would mean you're welcome. Like when someone says, how uh, and you want to say you're welcome. So we did two of the three. We did login. It's good. It's fine. That's one way of saying you're welcome. The second one that we did was in Watluan Logan. It's all good. Um, no problem, no worries. That's another way of saying you're welcome. And the third one that I couldn't find on um, Monday is right here. And this is the one that reminds me most of Spanish phrase Donata. Um, it's nothing. So our phrase is gump he guda un. Think nothing of it. So that that's our third way, uh, our, our, our third phrase we could use for your welcome. Gump he guda un. Gump he guda un. Um, so I wanted to. Did you want to try it? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Um, okay. I, I'm having audio trouble. So, uh, gum he he guda ang. Um, guda ang. Ang ang. It's a U sound. Ang. Mm hmm. Guda ang. Who login? So I wanted to. Take care of that. So that's our three ways. Oh, here comes Big Bear. That is our three ways of saying you're welcome, or phrases we could use uh, for that meaning. Oh, try to alphabet. Welcome, Big Bear, Singaila. Okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, okay, we did the TL. Now, we create a space here. We're just finishing up the Haida alphabet, and then we're going to go back to uh where we left off so the ts um there's no uh the ts glottal stop there's no english equivalent put your uh tip of your tongue lightly at the back of your bottom front teeth slightly curled upwards saying as you snap the air out. Our word, hide a word that starts with T-S, let us stop is sun, sun, sun. It means our beaver, sun, 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 sun. Uh, it has a U-N-G sound in English, the last three letters, sun. Um, I have other examples. I think this one is the easiest one. Um, sanu, 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 meaning fire. Um, I could remember the elders saying this word. Um, so this is the one I most familiar with. Um, let's go to the letter U. R U is like the in English U and put as a uh sound. Um, our hide word that starts as a U is unsit, unsit, unsit. 
meaning to know, unse. We also have a long U. It's like the double O in moon has an U sound. I heard a word uh, with a long U, deuce, uh, meaning cat, dujai, meaning the cat or a specific cat. Technically, it's not Haida. It comes from Chinook jargon. That Chinook jargon is a mixture of native languages and European languages. So it comes from the word puss, the English word puss, like puss in boots. Um, and the same goes for the uh, Schlinge and Sinsian, except for, I think there's a more like douche. <laughs> um, the W is the same, except for the glottal stop W. Um, close off the airflow back here and pronounce the W from here. Our example is Bad Luan, Bad Luan, Bad Luan, as in Kin Wat Luan, Lagan, meaning uh, it's all good. One of our ways of, one of our phrases we could use to substitute for your welcome. Uh, this X here, there's no English equivalent. I need to bump it down to the next page so everything's on the same screen. This is the easy one. Um, you put the middle of your tongue near the rip of your mouth, blowing air over it. Um, your upper lip is slightly over your bottom lip and you could feel the air dropping downwards. It has a H sound. Our Haida word uh, example is right here. Kya, kya. You could real. I could really feel the air hitting my palm. Kya, kya, kya. Meaning to dance. This one here is trickier. You have to know when it's constricted and when it's not. Uh, so you constrict the throat above the voice box, uh, cool. producing a gruff, rasping sound. Our um, hide a word to troll or to fish with a hook is ho, ho, ho. Um, it actually hurts a little bit to <laughs> constrict your throat. That's what you know you're doing it right. <laughs> um, then we have the relaxed version. Hot kill does not hurt your throat at all. It's totally relaxed. Hot kill. Or if um, for the females or father, they say um, hot, and that's not constricted either. It's softened. Um, I don't have a good explanation. I've had it explained to me that the elders already knew uh, that um, the underlying X is supposed to be, uh, the throat's supposed to be constricted, but um, they just relaxed it to make it uh, easier. Um, 
and maybe they made it easier for us so our throats wouldn't get so sore. <laughs> okay, the Y is the same as in English. Our word for sea cucumber is simply Yanu. Yanu. I know in Flinka it is Ying, but we have our own word, Yanu. That's the easy one. This one, uh, the glottostop Y is same as the glottostop L and glottostop W. Close off the airflow and pronounce the letter from back here. I can't do a Y sound uh, from back here. You wouldn't be able to hear it. So I'm going to do, this is like one of yeah. the only words that we have uh that's a glottal sub y and it's yeah 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 meaning um how strange or weird okay um are there any questions on the Ida alphabet or is that as far as it goes to y yeah, to there's the no, glottal stop no Z. Y. Okay. There's no uh, Z. Um, I I've seen some people spell Haida and they would use a Z, and they they're usually referring to the the T S glottal stop, but there is no Z in Haida, but symbol. Some use use it even though it doesn't belong. Um, but we don't have a O either, and that makes it um, kind of tricky. Sometimes, sometimes we we'll, we will use an English O, even though we don't have one in our alphabet, just to. Um, just to make it easier, I guess. Um, like if you notice a lot of Haida's when they spell how a uh, instead of H A with a tone mark, they'll they'll use H O W uh glow stop A A. A lot of Haida's spell how are uh, that way. Um we were on page 40. Uh, the last time we were here, and we did counting in Haida. So I'm, and we did um, this question as well, and some of the responses, but not all of them. So we're going to start here. Usu is is plié dung gulagan. What do you like to do? So gula is a verb to like or enjoy. Gung is present tense. Dung is you. Um, is plié is another. Um, well, I better look it up before I say. <laughs> um, It's not in here. No wonder why I can't explain it. Um, and gusu is what? Um, what do you like to do? Um, uh -huh. Let me look for who's playing. That might. Mm -hmm. That one's not here either. Um, let me look up who's strong and see if that's any help.
Oh, I found Gust Lee. Um, so Gust Lee is like Gust Lee. Um, it means a kind of one of those words for very. So what do you very, very like? <laughs> yeah. Very, as in very much. Yeah. Or, ve or very as in assorted. Um. Very as in. The adjective. Uh, very much like to do. Um. Okay. The dictionary says, um, like the very best ones. But um, It's used other ways as well. Um, for instance, they have Tlugla, Hustle, Hustle, Ujin. It's a beautiful place. And so the translation doesn't have very in it. Um, um, they also use, uh, I think they also use um, when we say, um, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, so um, it's not just very. Um, okay, so we have the, the hot feel, the, um, the um, phonetics and the English. Gusu istlie um, dung gulagan. Gusu istlie dung gulagan. Gusu istlie dung gulagan. Uh, Tony. Gusu istlie ya dung gulagan. Gulaga. Oh. Gulagan. Mm -hmm. uh, how a uh, big bear. Gusu is lie dun gulagan. Oh, how a. Uh... Okay, so all of these uh, following responses are to the question that we just asked what do you like to do? Um, I know some people like to go power walking because I, I see them out on the highway walking really fast. Um, you so don't have my answer on there. <laughs> What's your answer? What's that? Play pool. Oh, that's on here. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a different one. Um. These mm -hmm. I like to play pools. Um, we also have um, Kajau non I like to play basketball. Um, basketball is a big thing here in Southeast Alaska. Um, okay, back to power walking. Ka e one digulagan. Uh, we're going to be using digulagan a lot. A lot, it means I like, uh, present tense. Ka e one digulagan. So in my Phonetics, I kind of have like ka, like a raven kind. 
um, two E's because it's uh, two I's and try to have a really strong E sound. Juan as in wonton soup. <laughs> uh, D, Gulagan. I like to walk fast. Ka, Iwan, D, Gulagan. Tony. Ka, Iwan, D, Gulagan. Wrong. How are? Uh, big bear. Ka, Iwan, D, Gulagan. Wrong. How are? Uh, Okay. We all have to eat to survive, so I think we could all relate to this one. <laughs> ta digulagan. Ta digulagan. Ta digulagan. Ta digulagan. Ta digulagan. Tony. Ta digulagan. Um, how a uh, big bear. Ah, Igulagan. Um, Buga is our verb to have fun. So, Guga di Gulagan. I like to have fun. Guga di Gulagan. Guga. I should do a little bit of phonetics on this one. Uh, the first part kind of sounds like ghoul. It's close to Halloween, so we're going to use that one. Ghoul <laughs> ga the Oops. Bool or Bula Gun. Um, Guga the Bula Gun. Let me get rid of that. Guga the Bula Gun. Guga the Bula Gun. Tony. Guga the Bula Gun. Um, how a uh, big bear. Gula di gulagan. Gula goga di gulagan. Um, there you go. How a? Uh, I need more coffee. <laughs> you look like you got a cold. <laughs> huh? You catch a cold? No, I got an eye infection. Oh. Okay, um, um, this word here, um, uh, to play pool, um, it gets pronounced all as one word, uh, kiss cow nun, kiss cow nun, kiss cow nun, kiss cow nun, de gulagen. I like to play pool. So, You know, if this looks like Greek to you, this phonetics will come in handy. Kiss cow nun. Um, so kiss cow nun di gulagan. I like to play pool. Kiss cow nun di gulagan. Tony. Kiss cow nun di gulagan. Um, how uh? Big bear. Yes, Kaunam di Gulagan. Um, how uh this the little word right here means to laugh. 
I can't really put this one into phonetics. We already know um, the gulag and because all of these phrases end with de gulag and um, it's this little verb that we kick from the middle of the mouth. Ka, 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 de gulag and ka, de gulag and um, I just place my finger here so you could see which part of the mouth that I'm using. It's it's the middle. Ka, ka, de gulagen. Ka, de gulagen. Ka, de gulagen. There's two Ks that we kick. The one from the middle, ka, and the one from back here with the airflow back blocked off. So there's two different Ks that we kick, and this is one of them. So don't be afraid to kick the K out because that's what it's all about. Digulagen, 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 digulagen. I like to laugh. Tony. Digulagen. Oh, how a uh, big bear. Digulagen. Nong, how uh? Now, nong is both a noun and a verb. And so in this case, it's a noun. <clears throat> so, nong digulagen. I like games. Nong digulagen. It doesn't say what type of game. It could be a sports game, it could be a board game, it could be a game that you play on your phone. Um, it's just games in a really broad sense. Nong digulagen, nong digulagen, nong digulagen. Uh, Tony. Nong digulagen. Nong, how uh, Big beer. Nong digulagen. Um, how, uh... Okay. If you like to watch movies, um, Kaolong is our um, word uh, to watch, our verb to watch. Um, there's another variation, and I think it's something like that. Um, I think this one is uh, much easier to pronounce than the other version. Um, movies, uh, we have to say it in English. Um, to give it a little height of touch, we could add guy to it. Um, it's it's actually optional. You could say movies are Kalan de Gulagen, or you could say movies guy uh Kalan de Gulagen. So let me do a little bit of phonetics. Um this is gonna sound like guy. Um this is gonna sound like ah. Uh, like when you open your mouth for the dentist. <laughs> um, this, this is going to sound like cow, but there's a Y in it, in it cow. <laughs> oh, sorry, I got the giggles. Um, this is going to sound like long, like go long. <laughs> and then, of course, we have D. Gulagen, which we've been saying all along. Okay. Movies guy ah, uh, kalang di gulagen. Movies guy ah, uh, kalang di gulagen. So that's the breakup right here. Uh, so in other words, say these three words first. Movies guy ah, uh, 
and then go in to Kowlung di Gulagan. Movies guy ah, uh, Kowlung di Gulagan. I like to watch movies, Tony. Guy ah, Kowlung di Gulagan. Um, how ah, uh, ah, uh, Big Bear. Movies guy ah, uh, Kowlung di Gulagan. Oh, now, uh, okay, I'm going to reduce that to sit. No, that doesn't work. Let's try 50. That still probably doesn't work. Yeah, that's the best I could do. Um, so, uh, here's clip art of a kid playing basketball. No, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to bring it up to 75. And we're going to have to go to the phrase. Mm, looks like we're going to have to drop it down to the next page because uh, I need to do some phonetics here. So this is going to look like cuss, but with the S in front of it, cuss, <laughs> cow, cow, nong, and then D, ku, la, gun. I like to play basketball. So the breakup is going to be right here. So, because all three of these have to be pronounced uh, as one anyways, because um, that's, the, that's the way it is. So, skus cow, skus cow jow, nong digulagan, skus cow jow, Nong digulagan, skus kao jiao, nong digulagan. Take your time with it because it is a tongue twister. Um, skus kao jiao, nong digulagan, skus kao jiao, nong digulagan. Uh, Tony. Das Kau Jau Nong Di Gulagen. Nong Gulagen. Big Bear. Das Kau Jau Nong Di Gulagen. Nong. How are? Now, um, just so you guys know, um since you made that look so easy um this phrase some of these phrases are intermediate and this is one of them so um it just goes to show uh how much you can do and accomplish with uh, the language. So you guys are doing good. Um, I'm doing some phonetics on this question. Gusu dungan, gungan. What makes you laugh? Notice there's two guns in there. The first gun is habitual. So that's why you see this here. What normally makes you laugh? Because uh, we have this habitual here, meaning it happens on a normal basis. And then we have gun or present tense. So let me finish. Um, I don't have much more to do uh, phonetic wise. Um, Gusu Dungin Gungung. 
what makes you laugh? Or in other words, what makes you laugh on a normal basis? Gusu dungan gungan. Gusu dungan gungan. Gusu dungan gungan. Gusu dungan gungan. Tony. Gusu dungan. Gungan. Gungan. Big Bear. Gusu dungan gungan. Gungan. Sometimes um, these little verbs are, are trickier than um, uh, big long words like this. Um, I just noticed that um, over the years. Okay, so. There is no word for spouse, is there? Um, let's do I want to make sure I have the right jaw. <laughs> I have the wrong jaw. Joss is sister. Uh, jaw is wife. So let's go like this. Okay. Um, so we have these two. Ditlaw Wadu or Ja Gugagan. Uh, my hubby or uh, my wife is funny. Declaw uh, ja gulgagan. Declaw any or ja gulgagan. Tony. Ja gulgagan. Um, how a uh, big bear. Declaw ja. I got asked this question in advance, Haida, and then we had to do a huge poster board um, and write all the reasons why we wanted to learn Haida. So maybe I should do some phonetics. That's going to sound like sun. Uh, that's going to sound like cloud, like uh, plus owl. <laughs> um, hot as the phonetics for close as I could get. Bill, Dunn, uh, Scott, um, Scotton. Yes, I could do phonetic, <clears throat> phonetically. Uh, Sun Clow, Pod Kill, Dunn, Scotton. Why do you want to learn Haida? Sun Clow, Hot Kill, Dung Skatong. Sun Clow, Hot Kill, Dung Skatong. So here are the breakups. So if you don't want to say it all in one go, you don't have to. You could say Sun Clow. And then hot kill, and then done skatong. 
Sun Cloud, Hot Kill, Dun Scatong, uh, Tony. Sun Cloud, Hot Kill, Dun Scatong. Oh, good logging. How, uh, Big Bear? Sun Cloud, Hot Kill, Dun Scatong. Oh, how, uh, Okay, time for a little bit of phonetics. Again, is the same. This one sounds like you're going to hug a nani. <laughs> <laughs> hug a nan. <laughs> hug a nan. Ooh. Kunisi is kunisi. Um. Yeah, I'll leave it at, yeah, I'll leave it like that. Can Haganan U? Oh, I got to do the breakup. Um, because Can Haganan U has to be said all in one go. Can Haganan U? Can Haganan U? Can Haganan U? Kunisi is the ancestor. Kuyas is precious. Um, eighth in this case, um, because, and is is a verb to be, and in this case it is is. Um, so, Kinhaganan u kunisi kuyas eighth is. Reason is because of our precious ancestors. Um, some of us, when we when we get to high to heaven, we want to speak um, high to to our ancestors. Kinhaganan u kunisi kuyas eish is. Kinhaganan u kunisi kuyas eish is. Another reason is our ancestors are helping us on our journey, and uh, they could help us with. Uh, learning Haida and with pronunciation. Kinhaganan u kunisi kuyas eish is. Tony. Kinhaganan u kunisi kuyas eish is. Okay, you That's did right. good. Um, this yeah. word here. Gonna sound like Kuyas. Yes. Kuyas. Kuyas. There you and go. If it is. Kuyas. If it is. Oh, um, Hulagan. Good job. Uh, Big Bear. In Haganon, U Kunisi. Kuyas. If it is. Um. Let's see. Some of this is, um, oh, this is from um, Advanced Side as well. Um, I got commanded to um, tell about Juno, um, and I went into uh, a land acknowledgement for um, the Aquan and Takuquan. Um, and then below it is a land acknowledgement for the Tantaquan and Sanyaquan in Ketchikan. Um, but this is just basically frameworks. Um, if you wanted someone to tell you about, um, let's say New York, then you would, um, you, this is a long, <laughs> uh, name for Juno because it means starry flounder free. Um, you would just take this out and say New York, Hidade, Peak, 
Suda. Tell me about New York. Um, so it gives you framework. This gives you framework for land acknowledgments. Maybe you want um, a land acknowledgement for the Yakima people or uh, <clears throat> or the Lummi people. Um, this would give you um, uh, the framework. And then uh, the rest is me telling about Juno. Uh, there's Baranai Gu Kwangun. There's a lot of stores there. Dalanai San Kwangun. There's lots of banks too. We don't have a word for glacier. Hu Young told us uh, we could borrow from different dialects or we could borrow from different indigenous languages. Sit is the Shingit word for glacier. So sit Ketskit Lagun, the glaciers are beautiful. Chatawai uh, Iwangan, the mountains are big. Sangas Lu Tatawyagan, in the wintertime it's very cold. Let me bump this down. The next page. Hau Chao Salit Gu Kesket Laskian. Kajawai, Tlatskagan. It's beautiful and really, really windy there at Eagle Beach. Um, Huai Sengu Kwangan. Lots of trails there too. There's more trails in Juneau per square mile than any other city in the US. Okay, now we have a question. Sanu hi sing I Hayden song. What will the weather be like today? So we have Sanu hi hot sing I Hayden song. What will the weather be like today? Sanu Aya Sing I Hayden song. Sanu Aya Sing I Hayden song. Sanu Aya Sing I Hayden song. Uh, Tony. Sanu Aya Sing I Hayden song. Um, good logging. Big Bear. Sanu Ayat sing a hidang song. Um, and so we have one response. Um, Ayat sing a um, Yananga song. The weather today will be cloudy. So ayat is today. Sing I the weather. Yan. No. Ya nun. Ah. Song. Oh, sorry, no question mark. This is the response. I sing I Yanang song. The weather today will be cloudy. Song is our future tense. I sing I Yanang song. I sing I Yanang song. 
Kaya Singai Yananga Sang. Tony. Kaya Singai Yananga Sang. Ang Ulagan. Big Bear. Kaya Singai Yananga Sang. Ang. Let me change this to plural. Okay. So, um, decent U is when, when he sent U. The lung is da dung. When do you folks want to do it? And then we were following up with um, um a meeting. He sent you the lung is da dung. When do you folks want to do it? Ki sent u dalan is da gudan. Ki sent u dalan is da gudan. Ki sent u dalan is da gudan. Tony. Ki sent u dong long is da gudan. Um, big bear. Ki sent u dalan is da gudan. Um, okay, so the response is uh Santa Josh Blue uh Sah Angan Gut um Talan. Let me take out this clung. Uh it is another way of saying it, but it's just making more work. Um good talan. And then we have the verb uh, kaj, kaj beat song. Let me do some phonetics. Kaj, on, on, put. Um, Helen, um, Hodge, Hodge, uh, Geet, Song, Santa Just Lou, Sasha, and Good, uh, Talon. Kajkit song. We will uh, all be meeting together at noon. Santa Josh Lu Sashangan Put Talan Kajkit song. Santa Josh Lu Sashangan Put Talan Kajkit song. Santa Josh Lu Sashangan Put Talan Kajkit song. Tony. Santa just blew Sal on on good talon. Why geet song? Um, how uh big bear. Santa just blew sach on on good talon. Catch get song. Um, how uh um perfect timing. Let's see, we left off. Uh, we finished page 45, so Monday the 28th, we need to start on page 46. Um, so I'll say to you guys, uh, weekend guy, have a good weekend, you guys. How, uh, uh, uh.
Uh, thank you. Oh. Bear, I hope you're feeling better. Yeah, I hope you're feeling better, Bear. <laughs> uh, Nathan had a Nathan had a meeting. He said he was going to try to be here, but he couldn't. They called. Uh maybe we'll see him next week. Maybe he's got a yeah. surgery coming, so we'll see. Oh, uh -huh. 